Right, number 14. In part A, you've just approved that AB, the length of the base of this triangle, is given by this expression, where H is the height of the triangle and alpha and beta are the base angles. Well, that's just a case of simple right angle trigonometry. I'll need to give these a couple of names. I could give the middle bit a name like N. So of course, it's not the middle bit. N, but I'll not. I'll just call these two parts X and Y, for instance. And then using simple trigonometry, I've got this. H and X make the tangent. H over X is the tangent of alpha, which means getting X on its own will require that to multiply up. So the tangent will have to multiply down. Divide down. Gives you X is equal to H over tan alpha. Similarly in the other triangle, if H over Y is the tangent of beta, as it is, then to change the formula to Y equals, Y would have to go up, so tan would come across and divide, H over tan beta. And then since AB is the sum of X and Y, that means that AB is equal to H, I'll just put into order they've got it there, tan beta plus H over tan alpha. There, there was not a great deal to that. In part B, to show that this same expression can be written, rewritten as this. Right, well, there's two things I notice. Instead of two fractions, there's only one fraction, so we must be adding the fractions together. And the second thing is, there's no tangents, so we must be splitting the tangents using some other identity. So taking it up to the top here, what have we got? Single fraction, right, common denominator, multiply them together, always works. Sometimes it's overkill, but not here. Now I need to change the numerators to balance. I've got my tan beta, I need to multiply the top by tan alpha, so H tan alpha. I've got tan alpha, I need to multiply the top by tan beta, so H tan beta. And then I've got my common factor of H, how that comes. So I've got tan alpha plus tan beta over the product tan alpha tan beta. This has only got signs in it. That's got tangents. The next thing is I'll have to get rid of tangents. And the connection there I'm going to use is that the tangent of an angle is equal to the sine of the angle divided by the cosine of the angle. So it's going to get a little bit cumbersome for a while. I've got h times, now the top's going to have to be sine alpha over cos alpha, sine beta over cos beta, that's the tangent split into sine over cos, and that's the tangent split into sine over cos over, and the same at the bottom, that tangent will have to get split into sine alpha over cos alpha times and the tan beta, sine beta over cos beta. Now I've got a horrible fraction, but the way you resolve this type of complex fraction is by multi multiplying all of the terms by whatever it takes to remove the offending denominators. And the worst I've got is cos alpha cos beta. So what I'll need to do in both parts is multiply the top and multiply the bottom by cos alpha cos beta. I have to write this properly, it's so small. So, well, multiplying the bottom by cos alpha cos beta simply turns the bottom into sine alpha sine beta. There we go so far. I've got that h there. Multiplying the top by cos alpha. Now there's two parts, they both need to get multiplied. So cos alpha times cos alpha beta leaves cos beta. So I've got sine alpha cos beta. Multiplying cos beta by on top cos alpha. Not cancels out the cos beta is leaving cos alpha. Plus I could put that first. Cos alpha sine beta. And then finally you recognise the top as the expansion for sine of the sum because I've got the sine cos on one side and the sine cos on the other side of the sum and they switch angles. So that's the same as H times, I won't need the bracket anymore, sine alpha plus beta. So H sine alpha plus beta over sine alpha sine beta as was required.